This week on Pronghorn Productions TV, we're headed out of the sub-zero temperatures of the Arctic North and we're headed down to Lafayette, Louisiana to see if I can't get myself a big old Louisiana alligator with the bow, so come on along. Pronghorn Productions TV pro staffer and good friend of mine, Steve Alleman, had invited me to come down and try and take a couple gators with my bow. Now, I'd never attempted to take an alligator with my bow, and Steve actually hadn't taken any alligators with his bow either. What they normally do in Louisiana is bait them up and get them on a hook, and once they get them on the hook, they pull them up to the top and they shoot them with a pistol or a, a small rifle. So this is something new to both of us, and we're going to try it out and hopefully it's going to be an exciting adventure for us. morning this bait was still hanging it was not down look to the left side of your screen and you'll see that gator's head come up he is a big one that is a big one we'll get right back to the gator hunt after these messages this segment of Pronghorn Productions TV was brought to you by Town & Country Insurance Services. Serving Wisconsin for over 30 years Town & Country is large enough to insure you yet small enough to know you
Stealth Outdoors, originator of the Bark Silencer, now featuring the Roscoby Riser Cam. Fixed mounts are a distraction, and rigging a camera on your bow can be complicated. The new Roscoby Riser Cam captures all of the hunt from your point of view without any extra help or gear to fumble with when your moment of truth is at hand. Back at home, you can share your experience with family and friends for a lifetime of memories. Roscoby Riser Cam, we got your shot. Now only from Stealth Outdoors, when you purchase an 09 Roscoby Riser Cam at the lowest price possible, receive a free bark silencer along with free shipping. That's www.stealthoutdoors.com. It's the perfect way to commemorate your achievement. Whether in the woods or on the water, a custom field portrait from whatyougetcom captures that unforgettable moment. Simply give us your photo and have it transformed into a variety of unique trophy displays customized with your information. Visit us online today at www.whatyougit.com to learn more. The Box Silencer from Stealth Outdoor keeps you quiet before the shot. Bobby Boucher, what do you think about the Box Silencer? My mama say, no, is this the devil? So she bought me the Box Silencer from Stealth Outdoors. Now there's no more noise. I sit all day long against that cypress tree waiting for the gator to come by and he no more hear me. The Box Silencer, I love it. And I love my mama, too. Get your bark silencer at StealthOutdoors.com. Pronghorn Productions, capturing your once-in-a-lifetime memories. Whether it's turkey hunting in the Wisconsin woods or fishing the wilds of our country's beautiful lakes and rivers, have us capture those moments on tape and edit them into a wonderful keepsake DVD for you to share these once-in-a-lifetime events with friends and family. Have a special hunting or fishing trip plan? Consider us for capturing your event to keep those memories alive for a lifetime. Pronghorn Productions offers professional videography and editing services for all of your outdoor needs. So, for the best video and editing, call my dad at 438-7250. Or visit our website at www.pronghornproductions.net. This segment of Pronghorn Productions TV is brought to you by Muzzy Broadheads. Bad to the bone, Muzzy is number one in broadheads. Before the break, we saw a big gator on our line. Let's get back to the action. That one was, man, that's a good one there, John. Looks like at least a nine foot gator on this line. We checked it this morning, what, about three hours ago. It hadn't been hit, so he just hit it. We came cruising in here and saw it was down, and he was still moving the line. His head come up, and he's kind of big. Yeah, this is nice, this is nice gator. We're gonna just try and get a float in him now. And uh, we're gonna go check the other two and cut them. We got one on, we're gonna cut him off. Because this one is gonna be close now, Chris. That's a big one. I'm not gonna hold it out, I just let it go. <laughs> let him run. <laughs> you saw the head on that thing? <laughs> That's big gator, boys. It's a big gator, guys. Nice one. You need to the bull there you go. You got me to shake it. Yeah, that's the one I got. I'm gonna paddle back with you. Everybody got it, no problem. Do you like it? Yep. Good and easy. Let's have it on pretty good.
Give me a line on him, man. Get another one. Oh, yeah. He's a big one. We need a horse. See how wide his head was and he pulled him up? That's that's a big gear. Yeah. That's this is the kind that could call me stumpy after he gets yeah. <laughs> I'm pulled. I'm trying to catch those lines, man. What if I get behind you? Here, wait, wait. Look at this one. There's moving. This one could give you a new nickname. I hope not. <laughs> if you can get them up, you kind of get the water clear, get them up a little bit longer, and I can take my time a little more, maybe I can place them a little bit more. Yeah. This last two shots are just going to slow. This segment of Pronghorn Productions TV was brought to you by Blind Ambition Bail Blinds, a new innovative twist on ground blind hunting. The Box Silencer from Stealth Outdoor keeps you quiet before the shot. Bobby Boucher, what do you think about the Box Silencer? My mama say no, is this the devil? So she bought me the Box Silencer from Stealth Outdoors. Now there's no more noise. I sit all day long against that cypress tree waiting for the gator to come by and he no more hear me. The bark silencer, I love it. And I love my mama too. Get your bark silencer at StealthOutdoors.com Pronghorn Productions capturing your once in a lifetime memories. Whether it's turkey hunting in the Wisconsin woods or fishing the wilds of our country's beautiful lakes and rivers, have us capture those moments on tape and edit them into a wonderful keepsake DVD for you to share these once in a lifetime events with friends and family. Have a special hunting or fishing trip plan? Consider us for capturing your event to keep those memories alive for a lifetime. Pronghorn Productions offers professional videography and editing services for all of your outdoor needs. So, for the best video and editing, call my dad at 438-7250. Or visit our website at www.pronghornproductions.net. Stealth Outdoors, originator of the Bark Silencer, now featuring the Roscobie Riser Cam. Fixed mounts are a distraction, and rigging a camera on your bow can be complicated. The new Roscobie Riser Cam captures all of the hunt from your point of view without any extra help or gear to fumble with when your moment of truth is at hand. Back at home, you can share your experience with family and friends for a lifetime of memories. Roscobie Riser Cam, we got your shot. 
Now, only from Stealth Outdoors, when you purchase an 09 Roscobie riser cam at the lowest price possible, receive a free bark silencer along with free shipping. That's www.stealthoutdoors.com. This segment of Pronghorn Productions TV is brought to you by AMS Bowfishing. Bowfishing products for serious sportsmen. Ended pretty quick for you. I don't want to. I, hey, I don't want to lose them for sure with that many arrows in them. I'm gonna get a, a noose on his snout, Lonnie. Mm -hmm. And we got him. I mean, even though he gets off right here, I'm gonna fight him with the noose. Well, let's tie on that board. You can stop recording and just. Uh... Well, as with all hunting, it never goes according to plan. This big gator was just too strong. I had already put three arrows in him uh, with broadheads on him, put four arrows total, and uh, he just wasn't losing any strength. He, he, there was no way we were going to get him up next to the boat where I could get him with the knife and, and subdue him and put him out that way. So being there was only three of us in the boat, Lonnie was running the camera, but we needed Lonnie to get the noose around his jaw, pull him up, and we ended up putting him out with a nine millimeter that Steve had. Uh, and I think it was the right thing to do. It was the ethical thing to do. We got him in the boat. We didn't finish him off with an arrow. We had to cap him with the nine millimeter. He's just so big. We just he was wasn't dying, and we just wanted to lose him. We had like three hours in him, and he was and he's still, big. still he's strong. Big. He's big. <laughs> Good 10 plus. Looks like his tail is coming thick. Has a, missing, a little bit missing. Missing part of his tail? He's truly a dinosaur. 
nice one. He yeah, made some good shots on him. I mean, we checked the line this morning, and it was still up. We set this one really high with a big hook. I mean, we set it probably two, two and a half feet off the water. Far a big one. This is a little, a little funnel, a little channel here. Uh, Chris was talking about it yesterday. Just like a funnel. These animals use this just for traveling. It's deeper. It's the canal that goes all the way around the lake, along the levee here. And uh, he said it was like a funnel area for deer. And he was right. Same thing. We set it, set up the line real high. Came this morning. Line was still there. Chris harvested a nice uh, seven foot, ten and a half inch gator. And we were back to check the other lines that we put out. And uh, this line was, without surprise, this line was down in the water. And moving. <laughs> and we saw the big head come up, and that's when we knew he was a big one. When he saw us, he didn't like what he saw. He immediately went under. And, but he was hooked good because every time I pulled on him really slow, he just floated to the top. And they didn't really fight that much until Chris got some arrows in him, and then he, we just let him run. But he was still good and strong. So we didn't want to take any chances of losing him. Uh, gave it our best shot to take him out with a bow. We got a jug in him first, just in case he would have broke loose on our on our line that was tied to the tree here. Then we had an insurance line on him to find him again. But uh, they're tough. They don't they don't die very easily. And I imagine this is a really really old guy. So uh, congratulations. Hey, thank you. Beautiful thank you. trophy. Thank you. Thanks, Lonnie. Good work well, on the camera too. Yep, this is the guy we were after. He is the monster. Yep. He's the one we wanted. He's a big one. Now we got to go catch and release. Yeah, we'll go check some other lines here and uh, see what we got and pull them all up because we're tagged out. I'm happy camper. But I can't lose the anaphore. That's right. Big old gator like that. Still got both my hands, both my feet. <laughs> Took care of him, Karen. One gator that does not like to be on the line. He's feisty, as you'll see here. What we're doing is cutting the line. The hook is in the alligator's stomach. Well, um, much like a fish, when you cut the line and leave the hook in them, their stomach acid will dissolve the hook, and the alligator will be fine. on like a funnel. It was a channel.
channel came in and then it kind of opened up into a bigger channel. It was right on the corner of Steve's property where we could hunt. And uh, it was down and the rope was moving. And about the time we saw the rope moving, his head came up and he saw us and back down he went. And we knew once we saw that head, we knew he was a big one. We weren't even going to worry about the other ones. We were going to let them go. We were going after him. He's, he's a big lizard. He's the dinosaur. He's the Mac Daddy. He was the one I came to Louisiana for. And uh, like I said, it would have been fine with just that, that seven footer this morning, but this tops it off. I mean, this is, this is the icing on the cake right here. So I got to thank Steve again and, uh, and Lonnie. Lonnie for letting us use his boat and taking us around, and Steve for having me down. And, I mean, this has been great. It's been awesome. Just awesome. I would say uh, anybody has a chance to come to Louisiana and hunt gators, I, I would not pass it up. But I thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ten, seven, and three quarters. The last time we measured. 11 foot 2 inches with 4 or 5 inches of tail missing.